not only does Allah not love us, Allah is going to punish us for the sins of Muslims. Isn't that interesting, yep. Sam? Because yes. when we say that Jesus uh, willingly took the penalty for our sins on the cross, they say, oh, it's evil and unjust for one person to, take, to pay, this, to pay for the sins of another. Exactly. Right? Exactly. They say that's evil and unjust. Well, if it's evil and unjust, my Muslim friends, then be prepared to declare your religion evil and unjust. And this is what happens when you read your sources. We know that many mm -hmm. of you don't because when we bring these passages up to you, you've never heard them before. But this is Sahih Muslim here. This is one of your two most trusted collection of narrations. Uh, and we have multiple Sahih narrations reporting that according to Muhammad, Allah is going to take the sins from Muslims and put them on the backs of Jews and Christians so that Jews and Christians have to pay the price for those sins in hellfire. So we pay the price for your sins. You believe that? You believe that? <laughs> because that's what your prophet said. If you don't believe that, then you don't believe in Muhammad. Let me go ahead and read a couple of passages. Sahih Muslim, number 6665. Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. Wait a minute, so I'm going to rescue a Muslim from hellfire? Exactly. How's that work? You're going to rescue a Muslim from hellfire? No. Every yeah. Muslim will get a Christian or Jew that will be his rescue from hellfire. What does he mean? Let's keep reading. Sahih Muslim number 6666. The messenger of Allah said, no Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. Allah is going to put a Jew and a Christian in the place or a Christian in place of the Muslim in hellfire. If that's not clear enough, Sahih Muslim number 6668. The Messenger of Allah said, There would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain, and Allah would forgive them, and he would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. He would take, they would have sins as heavy as the mountains. Allah would put in their place Jews and Christians. Now, I think the, the clearest narration on this point comes from 110 Ahadith Qudsi. This is a Sahih narration. And I'll go ahead and read it for you. Allah's Messenger said, On the day of resurrection, my Ummah will be gathered into three groups. One sort will enter paradise without rendering an account of their deeds. Another sort will be reckoned an easy account and admitted into paradise. Yet another sort will come bearing on their backs heaps of sins like great mountains. Allah will ask the angels, though he knows best about them, who are these people? They will reply, they are humble slaves of yours. He will say, unload the sins from them and put the same over the Jews and Christians. Then let my humble slaves get into paradise by virtue of my mercy. These are not good Muslims. These are Muslims with sins as heavy as a mountain. But, uh, by the way, I want to add something. You said Hadith Qudsi, so I understand mm -hmm. why this is an amazing uh, statement. Hadith mm -hmm. Qudsi means a divine narration or a holy narration. The difference between a Hadith Qudsi and a Hadith is a Hadith Qudsi is the very words of Allah. Mm -hmm. And this contains being words of Allah talking to Yeah, me, it's not Muhammad saying something, it's Allah. So mm -hmm. notice you quoted what is believed to be the very words of Allah. Mm -hmm sent down to Muhammad to be recorded for future generations. And what does he say? There are going to be Muslims. Sins as heavy as a mountain. So these are some world-class sinners. And Allah is <laughs> going to say, take the sins from off their backs and put it on the backs of the Jews and Christians. So the Jews and Christians can roast in hellfire exactly. and Muslim and my devout Muslim servants who have these sins as heavy as a mountain removed from them can go get their virgins in paradise. Talk about a perversion. This is Islam. Is this yeah. the Islam you hear about on the streets? No, definitely not. Is this not. the Islam we hear about from Muslim preachers? No, but this is the Islam you hear about from Muhammad. Exactly. Big difference. Is this Talk a about a is this perversion a prophet, ladies and gentlemen? of vicarious mm -hmm. sacrifice, right? 